nobody? What's up? There's somebody. All right. Y'all are starting to filter in now. Here we go. There's 17 people. What's up, guys? I'm going to try to keep up with these comments as best I can. This is my first time doing YouTube Live, so I'm pretty pumped about this. Okay, so the whole purpose of me doing YouTube Live was to answer some questions. we get some notifications out of the way. So, um, awesome, buddy. I appreciate you ordering some stuff off the website. If you guys want to order anything, it's all linked down in the description below. It uh, helps support the channel and bring these videos that you guys love seeing. Uh, my favorite exotic to hunt, Axis deer, hands down. Um, the Audad mount is pretty incredible. Um, here's my full body Audad. And then there's my Axis buck. I think um, I've got some of those videos up um, on my mounts. <clears throat> Let's see here. Sorry, I'm trying. I'll try to keep my hand out of the way. I'm just reading some comments. Um, I lost my train of thought. Where was I? Um, how many animals have I shot? I have no clue. It's it's a lot. Um, thank you guys for joining in. I really appreciate it. Oh, um, I also have another Audad mount. It's uh, going to be a shoulder mount, though. I'm going to try to go through all these questions as best I can because there are a lot of you. In case you guys didn't know, there are a lot of you. And it's hard for me to respond to all of the comments, even though I do my best. Um, best broadhead ever. I don't know. That's tough. I like, I like a Magnus buzz cut as far as fixed blade goes. That's what I shot in Africa. Um, as far as mechanical goes, um, I don't, I don't really stick with one company really. I switch around a lot, but I have been using the Sever broadhead for a while now, and I I like it. I like it. I actually have one right here. It's kind of dirty because so it went through a pig or something. But um, these blades swivel. Pretty neat. You guys can look those up if you want. Um, no, we do not have to have tags for pig hunting, fortunately. We'd be in a world of hurt if we did. Thanks, Bo. I appreciate it. Uh, if I could back up and change one thing you hunted in Africa, what would you change? Oh, man. Um... Like change as far as animals go? Like would I change animals and hunt something different? Or what do you mean? Let's if I were to change some animals, um, I think I would change trade out like a couple of the warthogs that I shot and probably um, one of the impala that I shot and exchange it for like something like a water buck because I really really wanted a water buck and whenever i go back to africa most likely in the summer of 2021 i think that's when we're planning to go back um i will shoot a water buck and then i'll also shoot a couple of things that i didn't shoot shoo <laughs> tash you what was your starting off bow poundage and what is your current bow poundage any tips for increasing bow poundage so i get that question a lot um when i first started bow hunting i started out at 50 pounds and that was like super lightweight and graceful it was very easy to pull and i probably shot at least i don't know at least 200 arrows a week whenever i first got my bow if not more um i have killed a gimsbach i'm gonna answer that question real fast um but <clears throat> i'm currently shooting 70 pounds right now and it, it took me some time to work up to that but if you're shooting a smoother drawing bow like a Matthews, you can bump up to that a little bit faster because I know for me, I probably shot 50 pounds for about two weeks and I went to 60 pounds and I shot that for, I would say probably another two or three weeks and then I went straight to 70 pounds and I've been shooting 70 ever since. Um, let's see here. Oh, um, any tips for increasing bow poundage? Yeah, shoot, 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 shoot. Um, whenever you get tired, put it down. So 
you can create really bad habits by overshooting. And what I mean by that is if you're stepping out in the backyard and you're just shooting and shooting and shooting and you see your group starting to open up, you're probably going to get frustrated. You may be punching the trigger. You may have um, a little bit of target panic. You may be pushing the, the bow with your bow hand or dropping your arm or something along those lines. There's a lot of different variables. Um, just shoot until you feel like you need to stop until you're tired and then put it down and pick it up again the next day. But the more you shoot, the more you're going to be able to increase your poundage because you have muscles in your back that you normally wouldn't use um, except for drawing and shooting a bow. So I encourage you to shoot. I encourage, no, I don't, whitetail and more outdoors. Um, I encourage you guys to shoot as often as possible because practice means that you're going to be more ethical. And I like ethical hunters. I try to be an ethical hunter. Uh... Gage said I can't pull 70 pounds though. Well, he shoots a Hoyt, so Gage says a lot of things that aren't true. <laughs> Sweet. Yes, I'm excited to go to the Tomorrow Ranch to hang out with West and the boys, but it's going to be, uh, it'll be hopefully this spring. That's what we're shooting for. Um, I do gun hunt. I'm actually uploading a duck hunt right now, Andrew Davis. Um, as far as like rifle hunting goes, I do very little of it except for like hog hunts. Um, I do like to take, because I have a night vision scope, I have an ATN night vision, night vision scope, and I like to take it out and bust some hogs with it every once in a while. That's a lot of fun. I like to do that with my man guns and chicken strips, which he's coming back, guys. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I'm mostly bow hunt though. Like I'd say probably 95%. Uh, favorite animal I've killed. That's a tough one. Probably, dang, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of favorites. Um, let me split it up two ways. My favorite animals that I killed, or my favorite animal that I killed in Africa would most likely be... My Gimsbach or my Kudu? One of my Kudu bulls. And here in Texas, um, let me break it up into a, a third time. So, <laughs> as far as high fence hunting goes, probably my black buck because I worked so hard for my black buck as far as high fence goes. Um, low fence is probably going to be one of my whitetail bucks from either last year or the year before that. When are you going back to finish unfinished business in Colorado. Jacob, I plan on going back to Colorado, but it'll have to be this fall, of course. Um, we'll see. I'm, I want to go back to that same unit or at least hunt somewhere close. I want to do elk again. I'm most likely going to do elk again um, this year. Black buck are extremely hard to kill. Um, I use, the broadheads that I use are the Sever. It's the 2.1 inch I've got one sitting here. It's a little bit dirty because it's been through a pig, but I've got one sitting here. I'm shooting 125 grain head though. Um, let me scroll back up. Let me catch up with some comments, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, Tashu, I'd appreciate it. Shut up. Oh, Gage is on here now. My my draw weight. Yeah. Let's see. Holy smokes. Keep the questions rolling, guys. I, I really appreciate it. Shout out to Walker Bolden. Thanks for watching, buddy. Brandon Woods, what's up, buddy? What is your... Okay, I think I'm catching back up now. Um, Joe Underwood from Arizona. Um, I would recommend the Real McCoy Ranch. For hog hunts and well we're not really in west texas we're more like southwest texas but either way um shoot me an email down below and i'll get you set up on a hog hunt and i'll be there <laughs> happy new year shotgun all right i think i'm caught up now garen grimes i pre i appreciate it buddy how many turkeys have i killed two let me scroll back down. Let me catch up here. What YouTubers do I know? Um, 
I know several YouTubers, I guess. Uh, Rob Bluff Outdoors is a channel that I, some of my best friends, I film with those guys a lot. I filmed with Lunkers TV before, won't ever do that again, most likely. Um, <clears throat> I've actually filmed with Lunkers twice. Guns and Chicken Strips. Um, I've killed a lot of rabbits. What is a Coleman CT200U? What is that? Uh -huh. I've killed a lot of rabbits. Mondo, I'm excited for it, buddy. I've never hunted Alabama. Who is my favorite YouTuber? Mm, I don't know. I don't really have a favorite. I don't watch that much YouTube videos, like, as far as hunting goes, which is odd. Like, you would think I would watch a lot of hunting videos, but, um... I don't know. I just, that's a hard, that's a hard question. Haxon Hunt. I think that's how, Haxon, Haxon, Haxon Hunt. Hit me up, dude. Send me an email down below. I will come to Utah and elk hunt with you, brother. Lane Owen. Yeah, I got you, buddy. Well, we're going to do some more bass fishing, I promise, me and Justin. Um, I have been to Tyler, Texas. All right, I'm catching up here. What am I going to hunt this year? Um, so we're still in deer season. I still We have like five days left, I believe. So, uh, yeah, four or five days. So I'm still hunting whitetails. You guys know that I hunt feral hogs year-round in Trump 2020. Right on. Um, I'm going to do probably an exotic or two this year. I plan on going to one other ranch, two other ranches, maybe possibly three other ranches to do some hunting. Um I want to I want to do either mule deer or elk again this year since I'm not going to Africa, and I don't know, um, probably some more maybe some more ducks or something. We'll see. I have caught a lot of largemouth bass. Actually, that's what I grew up doing is bass fishing. Um, me and my dad loved to bass fish together. So let me just go back up. <laughs> I am a Republican. Gage, get out of here. Or Dylan, whichever one of you that is. Why aren't I filming with Lunkers again? Um, it's a conversation probably for another time. <laughs> I would love to come to Virginia and hunt with a bow. I've killed... More rabbits than I can count, and uh, let's see what else you got in here. I've killed I killed all five of my deer last year. I killed all my tags. Um, what's my favorite bow? Oh, I'm in love with my Trax. Um, I've gotten a new Matthews bow pretty much every year. They come out with one, and I, it's like a toss up between the No Cam and my Trax. My Trax is a whole lot faster than the No Cam, obviously, but. Um, yeah, probably my tracks. I'm fixing to get the VXR guys. I'm fixing to step up to. Uh, you can hunt Axis deer. I'm not sure about South Texas because I'm not sure about the public land down there. But I know like around Lake uh, Amistad, Amistad, however you want to say it. Um, there is some public land out there. I don't know how many acres, but you can hunt Axis out there. There are some axes. You should do trapping. So I actually started a trapping video and I haven't finished it yet. I'm gonna be doing some of that. I hope you guys are excited for it. We're gonna be eating some raccoon, which isn't my first time. I've eaten raccoon before. It was pretty solid all the way around. Um, on average, how many hogs do I take a year? Um, is there a legal way to donate the meat? Um, yes, there is some legal ways to donate the meat um, depending on where you live and what's around you. Um, on average, I don't know, usually probably somewhere between 40 and 60 hogs is what I'll shoot a year, and that includes with a rifle. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. I did, I did say hunting questions, guys. <laughs> um, what ATN scope do I have? I'm not really sure. It's an older ATN, just a night vision. 
Um, we can, actually, I don't know. I'd have to look up on my phone to see um, when dove season ends for this year. I think it's already over. Um, what else do we have in here? Guys, I'm going to try to keep this about 20 minutes or shorter. Do I make good money off of YouTube? Not really. <laughs> uh, depends on how YouTube's feeling that month. It's just enough to travel and make the videos that you guys love. I guess that's a easy way to put it. <clears throat> I'm not going to make a vid video on why I'm not going to hunt with lunkers again. Or film with lunkers again. Sorry, buddy. I just, uh, we didn't, it's not that we didn't get along, it's just that, um, our personalities are way different, I believe. Chris, I will definitely let you know, buddy. Alright guys, keep them, keep them coming. Why have dis hogs disappeared off your property since the cold came in? They haven't even touched my bait in two months. They're literally there rooting every night in summer. Um, what's your name? Anthony Becker. I hope I'm saying that right, buddy. Um, part of it, so I would say most likely is because of if there's any hunting pressure around you, um, they're most likely pushing some hog, or the hogs are being pushed out because of any kind of pressure from hunters on the surrounding property. Um, furthermore, hogs will travel. They really will. They will move, and in when there's any kind of hunting pressure, they will go nocturnal, they will disappear, they will go to where they feel safe and comfortable. They travel waterways, it's like creeks, rivers, things like that. Um, they're gonna go where the food source is most plentiful and easiest for them to um, brood up and get to and eat. How's it going, Mr. Mr. Rose? What's up, Alabama fan? How's it going, guys? <clears throat> Infected Outdoors. I would love to do a public land hog hunting challenge. I think that would be a lot of fun. Let's team up and do that. What's my favorite NFL team? Hey, guys, we're asking hunting questions here. But since we're on the topic, the cowgirls. Cowboys. Sorry. <laughs> How big is my biggest deer? So my biggest deer to date is like 123 three or 125 inches and some change nothing crazy huge i've darted bigger deer <laughs> let's see wait i'm i'll come shoot ducks with you but you gotta let me know when i've never hunted minnesota I have not, maybe one of these days. I'm actually going to Minnesota, I think in June, to do some fishing with a buddy, which is gonna be really, really cool if we end up doing that. Oh, um, one other thing I wanted to announce, I believe I'm going to be doing some spring bear hunting at the end of June in Idaho. Is that right? I have to go back and look. <laughs> go pet go. Yeah. Tell me when to come duck hunting, Gage, and I will come up there. I'll come hunting Minnesota next year, too. Alright. Yes, I do duck hunt. Actually, I'm about to uh, upload a duck hunting video. Gage, do not call me. Because I'm in the middle of filming a live video, and I'm fixing to end it here very quickly. Because I don't want this thing to get too long. What's the best way to attract hogs? No hunting pressure. And then lots of corn. And it doesn't matter how you decide to spice up your corn. Um, they're going to come and eat it. I've done it with diesel. I've done it tons of different ways. They're going to come tear it up. Um, where would I try to find hogs in the winter months in Texas public land? So either download something like Hunt Stand, Onyx Maps, or Base Map and figure out where the public property meets the private property and look for agricultural fields where things like oats and wheat are planted uh, look for food sources and you will find hogs also water that helps too um 
Infected Outdoors right on, brother. It's my email is down below or Instagram or anything. Shoot me a message. Let's let's hook something up. I did hunt when I was a kid. I think I went on my very first hunt ever when I was probably like five or six dove hunting. Later, brother. My deer season has gone phenomenal so far, guys. Um, I've got one doe tag left. I'm going to try to fill that sucker before season's over. I have caught hogs with dogs. Um, Ray's outdoors. Dude, I would love to go do that. Um, I want to get my grand slam with the turkey, too. I mean, with the turkey. I want to get my grand slam on the turkeys, too. Um, that's really, really cool. I have a cold steel blowgun, and I'm planning on doing something with it this weekend. You guys have to stay tuned for that video. Leland Reynolds, let me know, buddy. Shoot me an email. Uh, yes, we do a lot of shed hunting. Um, I actually had a shed hunting video, like a part of, part of one filmed, and then I actually ended up deleting the footage like a dumb dummy, dummy. <laughs> I'm planning on doing some shed hunting here um, later this spring, most definitely. Hunting fishing? You hunt Evant. So you're uh, you're probably like 45 minutes to an hour down the road from me. You're not far. No, I have not used an atlatl or atlatl to hunt. It's pretty serious right there. Uh, kill frogs with a blowgun. And do a catch, clean, cook. So I don't think I've ever... Uh, I may have had frog legs one time. I can't remember. Um, but I will definitely try that when the weather warms up. Most definitely. Yeah, I was cold G5. I was in a, I was in a couple of Lunkers videos, but that's been at least a couple of years ago. Seth Hartwick, Slick Trick Magnums for Hogs. Yes, um, I used to shoot the Magnums, or the Viper Tricks is what I shot, and the Raptor Tricks. Both of them work great. Slick Trick's a pretty decent little broadhead, except for um, they're kind of noisy. Like the fixed blade heads are a little bit noisy. Um, I'm not sure which ATN scope I have. It's like a three to something or other. Um... But it's just like a typical, it's like one of their, it's like their second or third model of eight of night vision scopes that I have. Um, yes, I'm still called Chippy. Deer meat for dinner collab. That'd be super cool. You guys will have to go drop some comments on his channel and see if you can't hook something up. Or maybe I can shoot him a message. That'd be really neat. How do I decide where to hang a set uh, for whitetail or for hogs? That's pretty important. Um... The biggest hog that I killed was over 300 pounds, but I don't know exact weight for that. Um, where to decide to hang a set? I do want to answer this question because it is important. Thank you for that question. Um, go and find an area near bedding. I wouldn't say necessarily getting get in their bedroom, but go find an area that has a lot of trails, something that's near water, something that's near a food source, and then go from there. Throw up a trail camera. You shot a bear? I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna try to shoot a bear this spring. I'm up, Devin Johnson, I'm definitely gonna be doing some fishing videos this summer and this spring as well, so be on the lookout for that. Missouri Fall Bow Hunt. Brandon Woods, we're gonna do it, brother. We will. Chaotic. Um, I don't. I've never met Mike. I have some friends that know Mike, and he lives just down the road from me. Mike the Mullet Man. Um, I've reached out to him. I think once, and he never hollered back at me. So um, we'll see. Maybe. Kendall Gray. Um, I want to ask you guys a question. Y'all want to see me do some more magnet fishing this spring or this summer? Because I've been contemplating that. It's kind of fun. It really is, but I don't know. You just got you guys got to let me know. So, 
Guys, go ahead and get your uh, your questions in pretty quick. I'm going to let this thing go another five minutes, and then I'm going to shut it down. Cooper, I will try to do some coyote trapping. Guys, I will I will try to do a collaboration with Mullet Man. You, you guys will go over to his channel and drop some comments on some of his videos. But... Um, like another four minutes or so, guys. Magnet fishing and bow fishing. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm planning on doing quite a bit more bow fishing this year. Rage versus Coyote. I'm pretty sure the Coyote would win. Rage is garbage. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, best kill shot on a hog with archery equipment. I like the headshots. Um, one that sticks out to me was when I was hunting in West Texas. No, not West Texas. It's kind of North Texas with OSC TV, um, with Weston and the guys, and I shot a hog smack in the face at about 15 yards, like right through the skull this way. Also, I've done that multiple times. It's, it's really cool. Uh, yes, I do know Rhett. We talk almost every day. He's a good friend of mine. But the, the headshots, probably <laughs> some of my best kill shots with archery kit, equipment. I will come to Indiana, but I would love to hunt Indiana for white tail, but isn't it like mostly private and you all like almost a draw state, like 100% or something like that? Um, I have not seen the new G5 Montec. That was the very first broadhead I ever decided to shoot when I got into bow hunting, and I'm not a fan. Predator calling. Okay, cool. Um, that's something I've been thinking about, and I would, I'm going to do some of that. I think me and Guns and Chicken Strips are going to try to do some some calling some more calling this year whenever he picks things back up uh yes i will do an axis deer hunt most likely straight on headshots um i do use several broadheads that's mostly what i've been shooting here recently jackson let me know i'll be there buddy you know i will just holler at me man let me know what day see you brandon Guys, go uh, go help OH Outdoors out. Go uh, give him a couple of subs so he can get to 900. Nat broadheads. I have used nat broadheads before. They're not they're not too bad. Billy, I don't want to I don't want to say I don't want to mess up your last name. I don't want to butcher your last name. I appreciate that, man. I really do appreciate that. Oops. What is a solid fixed blade broadhead for hogs? Magnus Buzzcut. I have no affiliation with them, um, <clears throat> but I used them and shot probably 85% of my animals in Africa with a Magnus Buzzcut, and it was an awesome head for me. I don't. I think it was like an inch and an eighth cut. I took the bleeder blades out, and it's just a two regular old two blade broadhead. Um, I have no idea about deer leases in Alice, Texas, but. I'm sure there's probably something around, but you just have to, to look. I'm sure you can find something. Um, another fixed blade broadhead that is solid would be like a slick trick. I used to shoot the Viper tricks a whole bunch, and um, I enjoy them, but they're just kind of noisy. Um, any Midwest hunts in the, in the making? Uh, hopefully hopefully this fall. I'm thinking about elk, and we've I've also been throwing around... Um, a mule deer hunt in Colorado with a friend of mine. So we're talking about that. I want to come to Iowa. Yeah, I know monsters live there. I just, I need somebody to invite me. <clears throat> Marcelino Con... Ah, dang it. I don't want to butcher your last name. Contreras. I think that's how he's... I think that's how you say that. I would love to come hog hunt with you in Pleasanton, Texas. I'm actually going to be in Pleasanton, Texas in like three days. You guys are awesome. I appreciate um, all the invites to come hunting. You guys are really, really awesome and uh, very generous. All right, guys. Um... If you seriously want me to come hunt with you in all these different states, send me an email. It's linked down in the description below. Um, I would love to come and travel and do some Midwest whitetail hunting. Um, Indiana, Ohio, all those different places. Min uh, Minnesota, Missouri. 
all those different places. That'd be super, super cool. Um, North Carolina. If you guys are serious about it, shoot me an email. I, that's, that's awesome. I'm really appreciative of all you guys. I'm not going to let this thing go too much longer. I know I keep saying that, but for real. Um, unless y'all have a couple more questions, I'm going to take a couple more questions and I'm, I'm going to log out. Black buck hunt. I, maybe. We'll see. I've got one on the wall. I need a wide, a wider one <laughs> or one that's taller. Um, no problem, Andrew. Anybody else got any more questions for me? I enjoy doing this. I really like the interactive stuff. Um, if you guys want me to do some of the live stuff more often, let me know. Um, have I ever shot an axis from a tree stand? No, I have. I've shot at an axis from a tree stand, but I did not hit it. Um, my deer lease is not MLD. I think that's what you're going for there. Oh, uh, yeah. Mom, that would be really cool. Try to hunt in all 50 states. Ram hunt. Coming up, I'm going to do the, the slam, the ram slam. It is like 8 p.m., I think, where I'm at. Thanks, Devin. I appreciate it. At 8.99, he needs one more. Go help him out. OH Outdoors. Go live more often. I will. If you guys want me to go live more often, I will definitely do it. Uh, hunting fishing, my deer lease is not MLD. My uh, my deer lease is done, or I mean, my deer season is done in like five days, four days. Alberta. Oh, man, that's a dream hunt right there. Michael Moser, I appreciate that. I hope I didn't butcher your last name. Um, shoot me an email. I would love to come do that. All right, you're from Sandwich, Illinois. There's a town in Illinois named Sandwich. No way, that's pretty awesome. You should hunt pronghorn. That's, oh man, that's one of those other hunts that I'd really like to do. We'll see. Fox hunt. Okay, so my buddy John from Fearless Life Outdoors, he's got a place out in West Texas that is absolutely just infested with foxes. We'll do some of that. It is tough to keep up with that chat, with this chat. <laughs> All right. A 12 by 8 bull elk. That sounds incredible. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I can get a 12 by 8 bull elk. Um, all right. I didn't mean for this video to go over 30 minutes long. My biggest white tail, uh, like a 123, 125 inch range. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you do want me to do some more live streaming, let me know. I have a duck hunt going live either tonight or I'll post it tomorrow. Um, since I did the live stream, I may just wait. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I don't exactly know how to exit out of this live stream, but uh, I'll catch you guys here in just a couple of days or tomorrow or maybe today with another video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys. Y'all are awesome.